I'm here at the Busan Motor Show and this is the new Hyundai Ioniq 6. This is a key model for Hyundai. They're moving right into the Tesla Model 3's territory, which has been one of the world's best-selling electric cars for years now. Of course, SUVs are kind of the rage in the private market back in Australia, but the whole point of an electric car like the Ioniq 6 is that it's not high off the ground. The streamliner shape is a little controversial. You'll either love it or you'll hate it, but the reason Hyundai have penned the car to look like this is to get its energy efficiency up, get its range up, and Hyundai promises 610 kilometers if you go for the real wheel drive version with 18 inch wheels. Now this car I've got next to me here in gravity gold, this is a full fat dual motor all wheel drive Ionic 6 with 239 kilowatts of power, 605 newton meters of torque and range is probably gonna fall a little closer to 500 Ks than 600 Ks when the WLTP certifies this car. But when it lands in Australia in the first half of 2023, we're gonna be looking at a price range of sort of 70 to 80 grand, very similar to the Ionic 5, which will continue alongside the Ionic 6 in the Australian market. And later, there'll also be an Ionic 7 SUV, which should be pretty cool. Now in today's video, we'll take a peek inside the Ionic 6, we'll check out the interior. I'll tell you a little bit about what's happening underneath this car and some expectations when it joins us back home in Australia. But for now, let me know your thoughts what do you think of the design of the Ionic 6? Very keen to hear your views and hit subscribe. Here inside the Ionic 6, the design is pretty familiar from that of the Ionic 5, but it's been refined a little bit further. You feel like the car's half a generation ahead and arguably I would say the Ionic 6 is a little bit more premium than the Ionic 5, even though they're gonna be priced pretty similarly in Australia. Here we've got twin 12.3 inch screens, but they're now encased in this really nice metal look kind of edging to it. I think it looks really classy actually, but the infotainment system is identical to what we've seen on the Ionic 5 and basically every current generation Hyundai product. In the center over here, you've got your navigation, media, wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, still no news on wireless unfortunately. And in front of us, we have uh, our trip information, but we don't have the blind spot cameras in this screen because the Ionic 6 is available with digital camera mirrors, which will come to Australia. I would suggest they'll be available on the top spec car because there will be a top spec and like a mid spec vehicle in Australia, much like the Ionic 5 for 2023, a dynamic model and a Technic model on top. However, at launch, we're only gonna get the 77.4 kilowatt hour battery in Australia. There is a smaller, lighter 53 kilowatt hour battery overseas, which we could get later on. And just like with Ionic 5 and the Kia EV6 and the Genesis GV60, there are a rear wheel drive and an all wheel drive powertrain, about 168 kilowatts of power for rear drive and 239 kilowatts of power for all wheel drive. Here in the cabin, really like this bridge type center console. You can kind of rest a laptop on there if you want. This is where you'll find your window controls and mirrors. Over here, the door is buttonless, which is really cool. This car's got a lot of ambient lighting, customizable colors, We've got, still got a proper climate control panel here, which makes it nice and easy to use. Really cool steering wheel. Now there is actually ambient lighting and lit uh, dots or squares up here, parametric pixels if I can get that right, which is the Hyundai Ionic signature. Uh, and they actually show you how much the vehicle is charged, which is pretty cool. And also when the speech uh, voice recognition function is happening. Paddles for your regen cool chunky stalks. So there's the familiar from the Ionic 5 and the new for the Ionic 6. Now this car's got a light color interior. There's also a dark which will be available and a bunch of cool colors outside when the car arrives in Australia in sort of six to nine months. So those are some very, very first impressions of the new Hyundai Ionic 6 here in Busan where the car has been revealed to the world. Great to see it in the flesh, particularly here around the back. Initially in the photos, I thought that this angle was a little bit challenging, but I think you'll agree when you see the car in the metal, it's quite a cohesive product and strong elements of sort of Porsche 993 here, which is never a bad thing. Parametric picture lighting, we've got a sedan boot in this car, integrated into the sort of camera arrangement there. So not a lift back, but decent aperture here for your golf clubs, etc. Power tailgate, bunch of cool colors, as I was saying, are gonna be available for this car when it arrives in Australia to compete with the likes of the Tesla Model 3 and the Polestar 2. So very keen to know your opinion now. Let me know down below this video what your impressions are of the Ionic 6. 
is this a car you'd consider buying? Are you going to change your Ionic 5 order or intention to something like a 6? Let me know in the comments. While you're there, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as always, thank you for watching Chasing Cars.